All right, welcome back. Hope all of you guys are doing well and hope you guys are safe if you are stuck anywhere with the snowstorms that we've been having here in parts of the United States. Well, this is going to be a look at five of probably the most popular screen recorders for Linux. Before I begin, the latest survey poll is out. I have a question for you guys. Will you shop Thanksgiving Day? You have until November 27th. Let's see what the results are. If any of you are going to shop, 100% no. Okay, I guess I'm done with that survey. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised. All right, let's move on. The top five, or my five tests for Linux screen recorders. So we have Record My Desktop, Screen Studio, Simple Screen Recorder as opposed to Convoluted, screen recorder. Now, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I actually like simple screen recorder. Voco screen, the one I'm using and the most reliable, at least for me so far, is Kazam Screencaster. Well, let's get started with Record My Desktop. This one is probably, uh, this one has probably been around the longest out of all of them. Now, this one works. However, if you use default functions, for example, if, you, if I was to record a five to ten minute video and wait for it to render I could shower shave wash and wax the car twice uh, by the time it was done rendering uh, the rendering waiting time is completely unacceptable I would only use this if you could encode on the fly meaning that once you were done and it says encoding simultaneously with the recording uh, I would use this if it would work the other way simply takes too long so far I really haven't got this uh, option to work very well but record my desktop only use it if you if, if, if it'll work to record on the fly all right let's move along along move along to the next one screen studio now this is an older version I've tried this one and the new one this one does not appear to be working if I click this to record it says video failed build FFmpeg and something something going on I don't have FFmpeg installed at least not the one that's in the uh, synaptic uh, package manager which is this I'm not really sure what's going on there must be a different codec that's not quite working um, one thing with these tests uh, I'm running all of these tests in Ubuntu 14.04 only after installing all of the updates. I have not tested this in Linux Mint or you know Manjaro or OpenSUSE just in my Ubuntu 14.04 only so your performance may vary so please keep that in mind. Alright Kazam is what I'm using. I like this very simple. The one thing with this, this seems to work the best if I use the H.264 MP4 format and not kick up the frame rate too high. If I do that, it'll freeze, but it does appear to be working with specific options only. All right, let's ex exit out of that. All right, let's move along to um, simple screen recorder. This one here, I, I did get to work. I had to fiddle with the, uh, with the settings here, with the codec and such and the bit rate I think I finally got it down to where it will work you have options here you know for the container and for the codec bit rate and all that uh, there I like I like this that it does have uh, you know many options but once again you may have to fiddle with this to get it to work right but it does work Vogel screen this one is another one that's somewhat puzzling if I click start FF MPEG is crashed on is crash has crashed yeah has crashed not is crashed Thursday now this again once again there must be something else going on with a different FF MPEG codec because once again I do not have this FF MPEG installed at all so there's something else going on I'm not sure what but be it as it may it's not working all right did I get all of them I think I did that's my take so far on five of the most popular Linux screen recorders. Once again, that was Kazam Vocal Screen, Simple Screen Recorder, Screen Studio, and Record My Desktop. Now, again, your performance may vary depending on which Linux distribution you use. And 
if you guys think uh, of a solution for Roco Screen and Screen Studio, let me know because I was trying to figure it out for really over an hour. Finally, I just gave up. You know, I have screen rec screen recorders that work, so I'm good to go. But that being said, out of all of these, I would have to say the only one, the one that's been the most reliable, at least for me, for multiple years so far, running it in Ubuntu, the most reliable has been Kazam. Let me know what works for you. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening, as always. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.